This Friday, an unprecedented space mission in China. Chang'e, uh, named after the mythical moon goddess, is the name of the country's new lunar probe. It launched off uh, earlier. It's to visit the far side of the moon and collect samples that could provide insight into the differences between the less explored region and the better known near side. Yin Ali reports from Beijing on the significance of this mission. going to be a 53-day mission. The goal is to collect two kilograms of lunar material, that's moon dust and moon rocks, from the far side of the moon, a place named the South Pole Aiken Basin. That's a crater that's 2,500 kilometers in diameter and around 4 billion years old. There are four main pieces of high-tech hardware that's involved in all of this, an orbiter, a lander, an ascender, and a re-entry module. And I say all of this because this is a China's most sophisticated robotic lunar mission so far. And it's a significant one as well because nobody has managed to retrieve samples from that part of the moon. And it's not just about this technical feat going to this mysterious part that we cannot see from Earth and, and bringing something back. It's not just about this uh, technical prowess and the prestige. The samples that they bring back uh, could help scientists learn more about the moon's origin and the origin of our solar system as a whole. And in the meantime, medium term as well. It also serves as a, a practical experience for the Chinese to send their first manned mission to the moon as well. And most of all, it will also give China an incredibly uh, important boost in the international race to study water in the lunar South Pole.